systematic uncertainties, uncertainties which you should really eliminate um, from an experiment. So they're usually due to faulty technique or faulty equipment. Uh, so for instance, a clock running slow, a poorly insulated container giving temperature readings. When measurements are repeated, systematic uncertainties cause the mean value to be offset because it's the same uncertainty each time. It's not changing like a random one is. So, for example, if you were looking at an experiment where you dropped a metal ball from a, an electromagnet, there's often a short time delay before the electromagnet uh, magnet loses its magnetism uh, sufficiently enough to release the ball. And that would be true every single time you took a reading. So all of your readings would be clustered at too high a value somewhere around about here, where what we're calling the true value might be somewhere down around about here. So, for example, if the time delay was 0 0.05 seconds, all of the readings would be too large by 0 0.05. So really, you should eliminate this by redesigning the experiment. Um, another important thing worth mentioning, though, about systematic uncertainties is that a graph can often show them up. If you've got a graph where you're expecting direct proportion and a straight line through the origin, if that doesn't happen, then it goes um, through through the axis rather than uh, right through the origin, then that could indicate that there's a systematic uncertainty present.